Andrew Carnegie is the epitome of the American dream during the Gilded Age. He was born in Scotland and came to the United States with his parents in 1838 when he was 13 years old. They lived in poverty. He started working that first year as a bobbin boy for $1.20 a week. Later, at 18, he took a job with the Pennsylvania Railroad. While working for the railroad, he saw the future in steel rails and invested in the steel industry. From 1885 to 1900, Carnegie made the empire of steel, making a fortune and creating innovative ways to make the production of steel cheaper and more efficient. He adopted the Bessemer process and used vertical integration. By the time he retired, his share in the company that he created was worth over $225 million, which today would be the equivalent of over $6 billion. He used his money as an activist and philanthropist, donating money to many things, including the building of public libraries across the United States. Carnegie greatly improved the quality of steel, as well as making it more affordable, which meant that we could build more, better, bigger, and safer. Steel is used in railroads, so Carnegie made transportation cheaper. It is also used in reinforcing bridges and in buildings. Carnegie's steel industry is one of the things that moved the United States from a rural nation to the much more urban and industrial nation that we live in now.